Okay, everyone, welcome back. We have new updates and it looks like things are now active for us to do swapping. I'm gonna do it here and show you on my screen exactly as how I do it and give a little tutorial step-by-step. -step. I also wanna give some updates here that Forex um, had said in regards to this and a few more quotes to show when things are gonna happen and go live completely. Um, so gonna get to that in a moment here. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor do your own research. Um, but again, I'm looking here to help everyone and bring value, which brings me to before we start, please like subscribe to this channel, comment and share. Um, we're up to 253 subscribers. So thank you each and every one of you. The initial goal here we're pushing for is to get to the initial 1000 subscribers. That's my first initial goal here. So thank you all. I'm definitely trying to show step by step, break things down, give you important info for those who may not be able to constantly keep up want to give you value. So if you feel this is important, I ask you please real quick, hit the like button, helps YouTube and the algorithm get this into more hands, especially since things now are on and the clock has started ticking. Please subscribe to get more information, especially once this is after we can move on and get to some really good <clears throat> other important protocol things and info and strategies and just help everyone, including myself, of course, with this. So please subscribe, like, share, I reply to every single comment. So if you have any questions, please do so. So let's get into it. Okay, so right here, I want to show you here on the farm. So number one, um, pick credit. Let's go to the Telegram real fast. We're gonna show here some updates today from Forex. We are preparing to unpause everything, pigs V2. So he's asking the farm's trip. Um, let's go here to the next one. You will have to migrate. Someone asked, the farms, for instance, drip USD will produce pigs V2 after the migration. So he's asking, or do we have to withdraw our LP tokens and deposit them again into a new farm? So Forex's response was, you will have to migrate, but only the core farms and pools which pay out in pigs. So there's gonna be some migration. Um, let's go back here to the farms for these three main farms that produce pigs. So dogs BUSD, dogs wrap BNB, and drip BUSD, these three, we're going to have to do some migration or something else in addition to get and have them earn pigs V2. Okay, so let's get back real quick here to what Forex was saying today, but only for the core farms and pools which pay out in pigs, which we already knew. So single stake dogs, the same thing will apply. All non-core farms and pools will stay the same. You don't have to do anything. You have to unstake and submit the pigs LP in non-locked stakes in order to get credit in V2. So someone said, let me go to the question the person asked first. Could you please throw some light on non-time-locked piglet stakes? Can we unstake those and get into V2 or should we leave them alone? No spelling, but it's all good. We all do that sometimes. And Forex said, you have to unstake, you have to unstake and submit the pigs LP in non-locked stakes in order to get credit for V2. So again, he says you have to unstake and submit the pigs LP in non-locked stakes in order to get credit in V2. Your credit in V2 will be in the new piggy bank if that's where your funds were when the pigs were on pause. But you need to withdraw your LP from V1 piggy bank and contribute them in order to get credit in the new piggy bank. Because again, your pigs V1 are going to be useless if you don't do this. So take this in again, okay? You have to unstake, submit the pigs LP. He said for you to get credit, um, everything is here. So we'll go over that. And if anybody has any questions, we'll try to get more input. So let's go to the next. Pin answers many times. That's the whole point of doing this. You guys, this is again about people with the piglets. I'm going to go every, over everything one more time and then we will unpause. We are preparing to unpause. I will be doing an AMA tomorrow in voice chat. So, tomorrow, Forex is going to have an AMA in voice chat here in Telegram. I will make sure I turn it on and put it live. So, be on the lookout for that. I will be alive. So, you're streaming it. So, in case you miss it, you could come back. And listen to it. Now we know Forex sometimes likes to, you know, he tries really hard to go in depth. So sometimes they go very long. However, after the live, 
I'll go through it and make a shorter recap for some of those who may want a shorter recap. But if you want to review it, again, I'll have it active for you. And I'll, I will have it on there and you'll be able to go back and see it after the fact. It'll be more productive to do an AMA tomorrow because today we will be doing a simulated distribution of piglets and I will have more info tomorrow after I do that. So basically you're gonna have AMA tomorrow. Today they're doing the simulated distribution, meaning the simulated launch to see who gets what piglets and we'll be able to respond to everyone after that tomorrow. During the AMA, um, don't know the time yet, but again, I'll have it streaming live. And of course you will be able to access it afterwards if you can't do it at that time. Okay, so that's the updates we have from Forex. Tomorrow will be an AMA, be on the lookout for that again. So let me go over here to what he was speaking about, okay? So if you look at pigs credit, you see right here, I have a small fractional amount. It says approved pigs. So this is now active and then credit tokens. Same thing here to submit any BUS pigs, BUSD LP tokens or pigs wrap BNB LP tokens. So what you need to do, if you have any in your wallet, they should be put in here. We're gonna approve pigs. I'll do all this in a moment. And then we can um, do it live here so we can see step-by-step. Step. What I'm gonna do first, however, is I'm logging into my ledger real quick here and I'm going to remove my pigs from the pig pen and then do this all live. So if anybody has any questions, we can see how this works. So give me one second here. Just gotta finish logging in. Okay, done. So now we're going to go down to the pig pen. If you have your pig staked here, if you notice there's this little minus button that is now active. Okay, so I'm gonna click that. I have 2.477 sitting in the pig pen currently. I'm gonna hit max, confirm. I'm gonna have, come up my ledger. It's gonna come up with contract. So I'm going to approve this. Okay. Waiting for that to finish. And then we're gonna to go to the next step. So again, there we go, transaction complete. So I now have that remove. BUSD earnings removed. I'm going to check my wallet and see if those extra seven came in. But let's go over here first. Now that I removed it, I don't think I have anything anywhere else. I can't pull out any of these piglets, but look at how much. I mean, I got almost a thousand dollars here, pretty much earned. So I can't wait to basically start compounding this and growing this because I had this on a shorter time lock four week, eight week, 13 week, and a little tiny bit on a year. So I'm looking forward to really. So I'll compound in these and seeing these days come for my strategy I have here, which I will share if you're interested. Okay, so now that I have that there, pools, everything's locked here, can't do anything there. Farms, everything's still paused, locked here, cannot do anything there. And I'm going to go to pig's credit. So let me refresh this so I can show the amount I just should have now, should increase. Just waiting for the site to come back. There we go. Now it's the higher amount. So first I'm going to approve pigs, nine cents. So it's charging me on my MetaMask. Let me approve this in my ledger. Okay. And if you're interested in having your stuff on a cold wallet with a ledger, there's plenty of videos on how to set it up. I'll put a link below to ledger if you're interested in knowing more about it or purchasing one. Um, I love it. I think it's great. It's a great backup to not basically have someone go into my MetaMask hot wallet and try to scam me or basically, you know, take my coins or get access to my funds. So having that backup is, is awesome. So now I have that done. I'm, you have 2.49, what's whatever the remainder is here. I'm going to hit credit tokens. I have another small gas fee. I mean, look at it. It's like, 0. 0.00049 of a BNB. The gas is super small. So that's not much there to take care of this. I'm going to hit confirm. So we're just waiting here to see that to be approved. Again, we're going to have, why well, I'll just go over stuff here for the AMA tomorrow. Um, not sure how long this is going to take. There we go. Just got confirmed and done. So I am done. It's successfully credited my pigs. I did it all here the way it was supposed to be through the site. So again, if you have any pigs in your wallet or pigs LP in your wallet, they'll automatically populate accordingly here as mine show that fractional amount. Go to the pig pen, minus arrow, withdraw your pigs. After you withdraw them to your wallet, go up to pigs credit, 
Okay, I unfroze it to basically here. Submit pigs, you'll come here, you will uh, approve it, and then you will submit them and send them in, and that's it, you're done. Submit pigs to be credited for V2. So I've completed all that. One last thing I wanted to go to here is my MetaMask wallet. I am going to see my, there it is, $7.05, my BUSD. I didn't have any BUSD in my wallet. So if you see, that's what I had sitting there in the pig pen, and it did withdraw it, and the BUSD that I was owed did get deposited into my wallet for me. So that was properly credited. You can see that here. Okay, so as you saw, everything is done there. Um, everything is complete. I hope this was useful. I hope to give you value, giving you updates from Forex. Recap, tomorrow will be an AMA. Well, he will answer things. I'll stream it live and the recording will stay. I'll also break it down after the fact so I can do a recap for anyone who may not, because I know sometimes they go long. Um, hopefully you got information on that. Hopefully this helps step-by-step step on how to do that. I will finish a course again. Please, if you found this information useful, please hit the like button to let everybody know about this and spread the word for YouTube algorithm to get this out. Please subscribe as I'm looking here to get this up to 1,000 subscribers. And I appreciate each and every one of you so we can work together. Um, I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure in one of Forex's comments, and he'll probably say tomorrow that all of this is probably going to go live, live, everything done next Tuesday, um, which I had guessed Monday. So that's, you know, I, I know Forex has to do things on Tuesdays instead of Mondays. Um, so that makes sense because that goes with his theme. But again, just wanted to make sure, please subscribe, please like, please share this. And definitely any questions, comment, I reply to every single one of you. I appreciate every one of you. The importance of this, again, is for all of us to succeed and really get our um, financial freedom, you know, in DeFi and in crypto. So I wish you all the best of luck and very much success. See you next time.